Hi there, welcome back to Stillwater's ASMR. Hopefully this video will be slightly more ASMR, although I can't um, account for any animal noises. Um, we've had a horrendous few days of like snow and wind and rain and just, it's been bitterly, bitterly cold. But now we've had, we've just got a beautiful, beautiful evening the winds died right down and so I thought I'd just go out and do my little head count of the lambs before going to bed. So it's currently about 10 o'clock at night and uh, we're going to go do a head check of the lambs. So over here we've got Flora who's been just been fed so um, I'll collect her bucket on the way back and uh, I pre-picked her field earlier. So let's go see who we can find. I mean, the alarms are being pretty noisy, so... It's, uh... We'll go see who we can find. So we spray paint numbers on all the sheep, all the mothers, before lambing starts. Because then once they give birth, we don't have to try and catch the mothers. We just have to catch the lambs. So they've spotted me coming in, so now suddenly everybody's shouting for their mums. And these two haven't found theirs. She's over there, I think. Oh, there they, there she is. Sorry, the light might be kind of dipping out. Yeah, they're shouting on her. She's like, I'm here, guys. Calm yourselves. See, I apologise if the lighting goes a bit wonky and you can't really see anything. So up there, we have got a couple mothers. Let's go up this way first. So down here, we have got number four. Number 14. I think that's number 11. Let's go see who's up here. Yeah, the light's starting to go. We have enough. So we're about a month away from midsummer. And in Shetland, at midsummer, it doesn't get dark. We get the simmer dim. It's dim, but it doesn't get dark. So. Right. Here we've got number six. She's a bit of a cripple. This will probably be her last year. Um, just because it's not fair pushing her for another year. She's a brilliant mother though. And a really lovely sheep. But she's just crippled. And then I think that's her lamb there. Yep, with number tens. He's like, mommy. Stop taking her back legs off or underneath her. It's number 10 and number 6. Over here we've got number 12. So number 12 is a fairly new arrival. And who is that in the background? So number 12 just got one. There's a bunch of birds down there. I wonder what they're after. This is number 16. 16 is also another new arrival. It's just such a lovely evening. I hope you don't get motion sick with this um, video. I'm always trying to keep tabs of what numbers I've counted. So we had six, we've had ten, twelve and sixteen, seventeen and thirteen are still up in the other field. I'm seeing number eight lambs in the plant maker by amongst all the junk that's in there. Oh, try not to fall over. So this is a sheep line here. Who is this? Number seven. This is number seven with her lamb. She's got just the one. And then here we've got number eight with her two lambs. I'm just going to peek at them.
This year we're trying not uh, not ringing the lambs' tails because there's some evidence that it's not necessary. So I'm trying to fall over again. Um, so I thought, well, if it's not necessary, then why why cause the lambs pain? So we're just letting their tails be long. There's some places it'll be more relevant. Places where the flies are more of a problem. So, right along here. So we're gonna sort of have to pay attention and not fall in the sea. My husband wouldn't appreciate that. Sometimes along here you see otters and seals out in the water and this is probably the time of night that you'd probably see otters, but I love heartbeat coming. Right, so let's try not to fall over. The sheep are a little bit more agile along here than I am. some sheep around here. So, there you've got a mama and two lambs, but I can't tell which number they are from here. Ah, they're number one. So we see number one. Let's keep on going around this way. It's just such a beautiful evening. Oh, here's number three. So we didn't think number three was going to have a lamb because she was charging around the field so much acting like a young thing not acting like she was heavily pregnant and then the other day she surprised us with a new arrival so that's kind of nice so yeah just look at that beautiful view I can still hear the roar of the waves at the mouth of the roll Hand right down in here. All the birds and everything being noisy. Oh, baby rabbit. I need to do something with the rabbits. So that's number 14 with her too. We saw her earlier. That's number one. She's like, not happy about being here. She's kind of huffing and puffing at me. <laughs> There's a lamb over there. He's obviously toddled off from its mum. Have I seen number five yet? So there's number four. So I've seen one, three, four. There's number five, but I don't see your lambs. We've seen six, we've seen seven, we've seen eight. Nine's lamb died and she's been put into exile. Uh, we've seen 10, we've seen 11, we've seen 12, 13 is up by. We've seen 14, 15 hasn't lambed yet, we've seen 16, and 17 is up by. Number 2 hasn't lambed yet either. We don't think number 2 is going to lamb, not the way she's been behaving. I think that's number 5's lamb there. They're getting so cute. I'll just go to any old DIY and be like, are you my mama? No, you're not my mama. Well, go to your mama. Stop yelling across the field. <laughs> You're so funny. No, number five, your mom's there. They're absolutely ignoring you. 
Number seven, your llama is right there. That one on number fives? No, not the elevens. Where's number fives other lamb? I've only seen one of them, and she's annoying number seven. So that's uh, the orange bucket that we're so fascinating in. That's um, a lick bucket. That's a five, that's a twelve. Oh, that's maybe five over there. Number five, your mama's over here. <laughs> and before I don't even know where your lambs are, huh? There's one. Number twelve, I don't know where your mama is. Whoever she is, she's not paying any attention. You can see them kind of climbing up over the wall. Babykins. Is that your mama? I'm guessing so. She wouldn't be laying her feet if it wasn't. Number five is really bad for like toddling off and leaving her lambs behind. They'll be curled up sleeping somewhere and she'll toddle off. And the lambs will wake up and be like, oh my goodness, where's our mommy? And you hear them crying and crying and crying. So she's eventually like, dude, I'm over here. She'll poop everywhere from her floor was down here earlier grazing off all the long grass. Sheep can't eat really long grass, whereas ponies can. She was eating down the long grass that the fresh, shorter grass can grow through that the sheep can eat. We could do some warmer temperatures so the grass will grow. They won't grow when it's as cold as it has been. So, yeah. These are my babies. Some up there, some over here. A whole heap of them will be in here. So, this is an old um, keel yard. They say yard for growing like kale and vegetables and things. Oh look, number eight selling a pea. A whole bunch of lambs. We've got a whole bunch of brook in there that needs to be. Sorry, brook is a Shetland word for rubbish. Oh look, there's a little lamb like tucked right in. You might not be able to see her. Tucked right in, a little nook there. It's not number threes. Number seven's lambs there. Number four's lambs are there. Number eight's over there. I wonder whose lamb that is. It's probably number five's other lamb. Go and find somewhere cozy to curl up and go to sleep. Nah. That's number eleven's over there. Yeah, that's probably number five's other lamb. Completely oblivious to where its own mum is. Yeah. I come down once a day or twice a day and do a little head count, make sure everybody's present and accounted for. Especially after we lost number nine's alarm. That was very distressing. But uh, the rest of them are all really good mamas. It's been such a gorgeous, gorgeous day. It's been really windy and cold, but the sun's been shining. Be able to get some laundry done, which is nice. So yeah, one little lamb over there all by itself. But I should kind of go over and prompt it to go find its mother. But it's happy enough. So I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna toddle up, go to bed. Um, maybe have some supper. But yeah, I just love my sheep. I really, really enjoy working with them.
Or five's gonna be like, oh, I don't know where my mom is. Alrighty, well you guys take care. And I'm hoping this next week to start getting some like normal videos recorded again. Okay, I get back into a bit more of a normal routine. We've only got a couple left on um, so life should be returning back to normal sometime soon. But uh, in the meantime, take care and I'll catch you again sometime soon. Bye-bye. <coughs>